Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is an introduction to my sound system. This is besides my multi-track recording system. I also have a multi-track recording studio where I can record eight tracks simultaneously with compressors and other things, okay? This is just simple, uh, what do you call it, consumer level, but a little better than that. All right, let's start with the Sony Megabass. Uh, I bought this about a year ago, brand new, for 12,000 rupees, which would be about, I don't know how many dollars, maybe $50. It has CD, radio, cassette, cassette recorder. Well, it says recorder, not R, no R in it. It's very good. I play my tapes on it. They play fine, no problems, no wow and flutter it does wonderful job uh, you can also hook up mp3 to it if you want to and excellent thing plays wonderful cds quality you know it's sony the top of the thing is sony this is the only cassette player available in pakistan uh, there are not many cassette players are built nowadays okay so we have to deal with what we have Okay, this is hooked up, the output is hooked up to this Denon here. It's hooked up to my Denon. From, sometimes I record cassette to cassette, so I play in that, record in this, and the output goes here for monitoring, okay? This is my techniques, I'm sorry, Panasonic stereo equalizer. I use this for recording and sometimes I use it for playing LPs through it, you know. I like some EQ when I'm playing from a record. Bottom, set underneath the EQ is Nakamichi BX2. Excellent playback deck. And Dolby B and C. And wonderful deck. Then down here, Nakamichi BX125, one of my favorite playback decks. I love playing my tapes from it. And excuse me, just a minute, let me get close to it. And one of my favorite decks, great deck, good looking deck. And underneath the deck, I have Murat CD player. All right, gentlemen, except few items here, most of the stuff comes from Junkyard and they've been refurbished, okay, gentlemen? Except few things which I will tell you, which I, which I bought uh, from USA, from Miami area. <clears throat> this is another Panasonic or Technics CD player. I use it. I, I only play use it for listening. Uh, Morats is used for playbacks for recording from my own CDs or songs which I have recorded as multi tracks and mix them, mix them down, mix have mixed them. And sometimes I master on these decks on analog and from analog I convert back to digital for publishing. Publishing. This is my Onkyo receiver. I bought this from Miami, Brand Smart Miami on Palmetto uh, 826. If you guys are from Miami, you know what that is. I hope, I think the Brand Smart is still there. Okay. Now we come here, this is my turntable. Also come from a junkyard in Pakistan. Works wonderfully, right from the junkyard. We had a lot of dust on it. I had to clean it, to wash it, and put it back together, and it's working. And uh, I was listening to Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd, you know. My LPs are playing wonderful. And, uh, okay, then over here. This LPI comes from uh, Virgin Records, London. My parents bought me this many years ago. This is the original Darks of the Moon from the original masters, not from the digital masters. Okay, come down here. This is my Denon DRM20. Sorry about the light. Oh, shoes gentlemen 
It's a great deck. I use it for playback, recordings. Then this is one of my very good deck. It's TX R919X. Dolby BNC DBX. Collaboration, level collaboration, bison collaboration, master level, separate level adjustment for left and right. There's another great deck here, so gentlemen. It's Nakamichi DR10. Discrete cassette deck, no collaboration, without collaboration, simple Dolby BNC, noise reduction, and bias adjust. And I guess. And I tell you guys, this deck record, this records some some of the recordings which come out on this deck are way better than the, these decks with collaboration and all that stuff on it. Here is my Sony. Uh, it's uh, Sony KX seven zero zero seven manual col manual collaboration. Great deck for recording, and I love it. These are all my recording decks, gentlemen. These are all recording decks. Okay, gentlemen, this is the Beast Pioneer VSXD9015. Uh, my Akai monitors are hooked up with this, and the monitors from these decks come down here. So I just monitor recording here and monitor them on uh, Akai speakers via the spine here. That's about it. The, nothing else I do with it. Okay, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. Please like my YouTube channel and subscribe. Subscribe. Um, I, I will appreciate the help. Okay, that was the other system, this is the other system. This is the Rotel CD player. Then I have Yamaha KX300. M4Z, great playback deck. Use it all the time. This is Yamaha KX580. Two head auto collaboration, great deck for recording. I love the recording of this deck. I, uh, this was bought from uh, Sound Advice, North Miami Beach, which was located on 163rd Street and about maybe 20th Avenue in the back, behind Rose Auto Parts, something. It's not there anymore. Many years ago it was there. Okay. And this deck is also, I bought this in 1996. This deck is KX640 RS by Yamaha. Uh, another junkyard deck, great recording. Then the bottom, KX800 RS, manual collaboration, Dolby BNC, great recording deck. Use it all the time. And the bottom is a Technics receiver for basically monitor, for monitoring. Okay, this is how I hook up the system, gentlemen. All the inputs go down to that Behringer mixer. From the Behringer mixer, it goes to this Panasonic EQ, sorry, Technics EQ, left and, left and right separate, input outputs. Then the outputs of the EQ go to different decks for recording and is monitored <clears throat> from the receiver. And I, from the receiver, it goes to Control 5, monitors, Northridge, California, also from Junkyard, here in Pakistan. Now, in the bottom are these North, Northridge series, JBLs, which, uh, which I bought from, again, Brandsmart, USA, Palmetto, Miami, Florida, many years ago. These are Akai monitors. Also from junkyard, but they came brand new from the junkyard with the boxes and everything in it, uh, with it, with packing and, and everything. Welcome back, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, please like and subscribe. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay, now I'm gonna play some for music for you. Uh, play one of my favorite decks. The song which I'm gonna play is also recorded by me. Uh, it was recorded in Hollandale, Florida, 113 Southeast 4th Avenue, apartment number two. My friend David Devalier is playing all the instruments. And uh, it was recorded on, I think it was Sonar, a cakewalk. And uh, yeah, there is some noise in it. The noise is coming from the room AC and from the microphones. And just this is the mix from the basic tracks. It's never been mastered. So if I remaster this song, of course the noise is gonna go away. So, okay, let's get the mixer. Let's see if everything is on here. And this is the EQ. I don't know if I'm gonna use the EQ. Yeah, we're gonna use the EQ a little bit. Okay, let's see if this plays. <laughs> 